Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I am creating a minion cake. Many of you have sent in requests asking for a minion cake tutorial, some asking for a yellow minion and some asking for a purple minion. So today I'm going to give you the best of both worlds with a double minion 3D cake. If you enjoy watching my tutorials you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter and if you haven't already done so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my creative cake tutorials as I release them. So to start with, I'm going to be baking six eight inch round cakes. And to make it a little bit more interesting on the inside, I'm going to color half my batter with some purple food coloring and the other half with some yellow food coloring. Once my cakes come out of the oven, I'm just going to shave off the slightest little bit of cake off the top, just so that each of the cakes are nice and flat. Now using a long serrated knife, I'm going to cut each of the cakes right down the centre, dividing them in two. To secure my cake setup board, I'm just going to use a little bit of ganache as the glue. And I'm also going to use a little bit of ganache again, just for the bottom layer of my cake. Now I'm going to start stacking my cake, and I'm going to use half of a purple cake and half of a yellow cake on each layer. And in between, I'm going to put a nice layer of buttercream frosting. So I'm going to continue this process until I've created six layers and used up all of my cakes. To give the cake some stability, I'm going to insert a long dowel right through all of the purple cakes as well as the yellow cakes on the other side. Now I'm going to start carving the top of the minion cakes, so I just want to shave off the very edges to make a nice round dome effect. Once I'm happy with the shape of my dome, I'm going to cover the cake with my white chocolate ganache, making sure to secure all the crumbs and trying to get as smooth a surface as possible. Then I'm going to let it sit in the fridge for about half an hour to set. After I took my cake out of the fridge, I just trimmed the dowels down and now I'm using a little bit of water in my pastry brush to moisten the yellow side of the cake. This is going to help my fondant stick to the cake, which I've rolled out and have ready waiting. So I'm just going to trim a nice neat edge at the bottom of one side of the fondant and carefully using my rolling pin to gently lay the fondant onto the side of the cake. Then I'm going to smooth the fondant onto the side of the cake. And using my X-Acto blade, I'm going to trim the fondant all the way up the centre of the cake, across the top and down the other side. Because I only wet one side of the cake with the water, the fondant is only sticking to that one side of the cake and the remaining bits pull away quite easily. Using a ball of yellow fondant now, I'm going to smooth the surface of the cake. To cover the opposite side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, starting off by moistening the cake with a little bit of water, trimming one edge of the fondant, laying it on top of the cake, smoothing down the fondant and trimming off the excess. This time I'm going to use a little ball of purple fondant and gently massage the purple fondant into the yellow fondant, closing up any little gaps in between the seam. Now here I've got a little picture of my two minions that I've just drawn by hand and I've got a round cookie cutter that I'm going to use for the shape of the minions goggles. So to start with, I'm just going to add a little bit of Tylose powder into some grey fondant. This is going to help it to dry and harden nice and stiff very quickly. So I'm just cutting out some strips from my grey fondant and I'm going to form them into a round shape using my little template as a guide. Then I'm going to use some flour glue to adhere the join together and repeat the process for the remaining two goggles. Now I'm just making the little clasps on the side of the goggles using some of the grey fondant, just cutting some little rectangles and using the back of my knife to make an indentation in the centre. 
To make the buttons, it's quite easy. I've just got two round cutters, one smaller than the other, and I'm going to cut out two circles with the larger cutter and using the blunt side of my smaller round cutter, just going to make a little impression in the centre. Then using the back of a paintbrush, just indent four little dots. Now using my silver luster dust, I'm going to cover all of these grey pieces of fondant with a nice shiny silver coating. To make the minion's eyes, I'm using the same round cutter that I used as my template for the goggles and I'm cutting out a fairly thick piece of white fondant. For the yellow minion, I'm making two brown irises and adhering them to the centre of the eyes, followed by a little ball of black fondant for the pupils and two tiny white dots of fondant for the reflection. I'm going to use a black edible marker just to add some streaks into the brown sections of the eyes. And for the purple minion, I've just cut out a little bit of purple fondant for the eye. And for his eyelid, I'm covering my circle with some purple fondant and just trimming it with my cookie cutter. And again, layering up the eye and adding in some details. Now I'm going to start working on the purple minions overalls and I'm going to use my little template as a guide. So I'm going to use my pastry brush and just moisten the fondant, roughly outlining the shape of the overalls. And then I'm going to carefully lift up my black fondant and stick it onto the cake. Once again, the fondant is only going to stick to the areas that are wet and then use the blade to trim up all the excess, leaving behind the shape of the overalls. Now here I've got a stitching tool and I'm going to use the blunt edge to create a little bit of detail along the edge of the overalls. I'm going to do the same thing with the little semicircle pocket that I've cut out. When I stick it on, I'm going to make sure that I've got a little opening at the top of the pocket. I'm going to add this detail to the straps as well, which only go as far as the edge of the minion's body. For his little feet, I'm rolling out a nice thick sausage, cutting it in half, just moulding it with my fingers to the shape of a foot, and using the back of my blade to make an indentation for a heel. For the little gloves, I've got two pieces of black fondant and I'm pinching the very bottom of the fondant and then using my little fingers to roll the fondant to make an indentation where the wrist is. Using my knife, I'm just going to cut out a thumb shape. For his hands, I've rolled out two long pieces of purple fondant and just to make it nice and secure, I'm just inserting a toothpick and then hooking my fondant onto that and adhering it to the side of his body. The gloves are then just stuck in place using a little bit of water at the end of his hands. Now it's time for me to dress my yellow minion and of course again I've got my little template to use as a guide. Like with the purple minion, I'm making the overalls first. This time I'm going to change the edge of my stitching tool into one that's going to give it a little bit of an actual stitch appearance. I've rolled some blue fondant into two thick sausages for the minion's legs, followed by his feet, his arms and his hands. And finally the straps of his overalls. I've made a smiley mouth for the yellow minion and a little cheeky pink tongue as well as I've made the black buttons and the black hair for the minion. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of these details now. To ensure the goggles are nice and secure once I put them on the cake, I'm inserting a toothpick on either side before I press it into the cake. 
Moving on to the hair now, I'm using the back end of a paintbrush to dig in some holes into the top of the minion's head and then I'm going to insert my little black pieces of hair which I made by rolling out little snakes and tapering them at one end. Here I'm attaching a strip of black fondant which is the strap for the goggles. It runs from the yellow minion's goggles all the way round to the purple minion's goggles. Now it's time to add some hair for my purple minion and I've just rolled some purple pieces of fondant into tall triangular pieces. I can't forget to add the two little silver clasps to the edge of his goggles as well as his little silver buttons. Using the blunt end again of my stitching tool I'm going to indent a mouth and using some white fondant I'm going to cut out some teeth and adhere that to the cake. Last but not least, I used a little bit of grey fondant to make the symbol for the purple minion's pocket and I used a black edible marker to colour in the symbol on the yellow minion's pocket. And here it is, my double minion 3D cake. I think this is a really impressive cake guys, that when you break it down, it isn't really that hard to make. I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and do share it with your friends. I'd love to hear your feedback in your comments, so let me know if there are any other characters you'd like to see me do like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more creative cake tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching.